Hello! One thing that makes Notion different is that you can add dozens of different types of content to any one page, like text, bullets, and images of course, but also databases, videos, embeds for more than 500 products like Google Drive, Figma, or Loom, or even code notations. This video will cover all the types of content you can store in Notion. Here's a Notion workspace. Let's add a new page here. If you hit the forward slash key, you'll see this long drop-down menu appear. This contains all the types of content you can add to your page. You can scroll down inside to see everything. What do we mean by types of content? Imagine a set of blocks. Each one is a different type of content. A text block, calendar block, and image block. Every page you create in Notion is a blank surface where you can stack these blocks however you want to create any type of document or accomplish any type of task. Still with me? For example, this sentence I just typed in my page is already a block. It's the default block in Notion, which we simply call text. But there are so many other types of blocks you can add to this page. In this first section, I'll go through what we call basic blocks, which is content helpful for any type of document. And I'll use this page as a visual aid. I will first show you an empty block and will then replace it with default content so you can see what it looks like. Page adds a subpage inside your page. That's right, you can put pages inside pages inside pages. It's a great way to stay organized and you can always find nested pages in your sidebar. To-do list adds a checkbox list to your page. Heading one is the largest text size. It works perfectly as headings on pages. Type H1 to have it show up instantly. Heading two is for medium-sized headings and can be easily added with shortcut H2. Heading three is for small headings and can be added with shortcut H3. Bulleted list automatically adds a bullet list to your page. To add one faster, type hyphen and space. Numbered list creates an indented list where every item is numbered. You can also just type one and then space. Toggle list adds a toggle to your page, revealing whatever content you want to nest inside. Click again to close it and hide that content. This can help streamline content-heavy pages or give someone the option to view content. The shortcut for this is this key plus space. Quote allows you to add larger indented text in your page. This formatting is ideal for quotes. Divider creates a thin gray line to separate text in your doc. To add it, just type the hyphen on your keyboard three times. Link to page adds a link to another page in your workspace so you can hop right there. When you select it, another box will pop up to search for the page to add. Select it here. Callout creates a box with a default emoji where you can add text that will stand out from the rest of your content. Callouts are ideal for tips, warnings, or disclaimers. You can customize the emoji as well as the color of the box. If you know the type of content you'd like to add, there's no need to scroll through the dropdown. Just type the forward slash key on your keyboard and start typing the name of the block. It will quickly appear at the top of the list and you can hit enter to add it. This first section covered all basic content types in Notion but you can also add structured information to your page just like any other block, like tables, boards, galleries, lists, and calendars. Every one of these types of databases can either be added to an already existing page or as an entirely new page in your workspace. Here, you might decide to add a gallery of photos featuring books written by Virginia Woolf. To do this, type the forward slash key and start typing gallery, then select gallery inline. 
This is what your gallery of photos could look like. You can also add a database as a page inside a page. To do that in this example, hit the forward slash and start typing gallery, then select gallery full page. Notion will take you immediately to your new gallery, but you can always click back to see how it lives inside the previous page. All five database types operate this way. If you want to learn more, we've made video tutorials about each. Now, what if you wanted to add content that was not text, like an image or video? You can certainly do this by again, hitting the forward slash key and typing the name of the kind of media you would like to add. Any Notion page can host the following media. Images can be uploaded from your computer by copy pasting the link to the image or directly searching for a copyright free image on Unsplash. You can also drag and drop them into your page. Pick web bookmarks to add a clickable link to a web page as well as a preview of its content. You can upload videos. Either embed one from YouTube, Vimeo, and other platforms, or upload your own video file. Add audio files to your page by uploading them here, or embed them using Spotify, SoundCloud, or other streaming services. Video and audio files can be dragged and dropped. Add a code snippet in your preferred programming language, complete with formatting. Finally, upload any kind of file to your page and store it exactly where you want it in your workflow so you don't have to go hunting for it on another site. How about content from other apps that you would like to add to your Notion pages? Notion allows you to embed content from more than 500 apps, so chances are this should take you no more than a few clicks. Again, type forward slash and embed. We created shortcuts for the most popular apps, like Google Drive, Maps, Figma, Loom, etc. You can find them here and you can add them by hitting slash and typing their names directly, like slash maps. To embed just about any other app, click on the embed option. This lets you input the relevant link from the other app to make its content appear on your page. That way, you can keep different kinds of app content all in one place. PDFs alongside Figma files and playable Loom recordings alongside Typeform surveys that people could complete entirely in Notion. It really doesn't get simpler than this. Finally, let's cover more advanced types of content you can add in your Notion pages. If you want to add a math equation, just type math after the forward slash key, then press enter. Copy paste or type a tech language formula into this block and it will be beautifully displayed like this. Template button lets you create and configure a button that replicates any combination of blocks over and over again. For example, say you want to write a journal entry every day. Instead of typing the same sections every day, you can have them repeat themselves every time you press on this button. Breadcrumbs allow you to show the current page's location in your workspace. You can also find this information at the top left of the page. Use table of contents to create an outline for your page and allow your readers to jump to whatever section they want instead of manually scrolling down to it. You can also type forward slash TOC to add it. A couple last tips and tricks for using content blocks. First, you can drag and drop any block easily to rearrange your page. Just grab the six dot icon that appears to its left and use it as a handle to drag. And if you click on the six dot icon, you'll see a full menu of options. You can choose to delete or duplicate your block, turn it into another type of block, copy an anchor link directly to that block, move it to another page, 
or if it's text, change its color. That's it for this video. Our goal here at Notion is to give you the best set of blocks possible to solve any problem you have. Happy stacking! Thank you.